when we see things that happen as human beings and as Jews, we must react to see what it is that we can do. No question about it. When things happen to ourselves, then we must think why it happened after we've done what we can to help ourselves. We always look to see what we can do first and then try to get the message as to why certain things happened, when they happened, at the time that it happened, in the place that it happened, to the people that it happened to. Is there anything that I could learn from all of this? Or is God just trying to tell people, realize that you're not the boss of the world, that you still must reckon and deal with me. And perhaps that is the reason why these things, so many different things are happening. And they're happening at an accelerated rate. And perhaps there's going to be even greater uh, difficulty and tragedies along the way that are natural, so-called natural. And these are the intervention of God, and they're meant to shake mankind up to realizing that there is a God, and we must pray to this God, and we must behave as God wishes us to behave. We are in a society today where everything goes, where there are no consequences. And we have to realize that there are consequences. You talk about global warming and saying there are consequences for our largesse and our behavior. Well, guess what? Look into yourselves, into myself, and realize that there is a consequence for our behavior. Every selfish act has an equal but opposite effect. And so, instead of focusing on ourselves, and instead of focusing on what we want, let us try to find out what it is that God wants. If you truly believe in God, then God wants something from people. What is it that God wants? And if God doesn't want anything, then there is no God. And that's what you're saying. There is no God. Everything is only nature. It's only going willy-nilly. And I can do what I want. If you really believe there is a God, and there has to be a God, for the world cannot create itself, with all the stupidity of the great scientists who've never come up with some idea why we got here. How did we get here? We weren't created by protoplasm. And it's not just the Big Bang that creates the intellect and creates our love and creates our sense of justice and judgment. We were created for the purpose of bringing God's glory into this world. And that's what happened at the time of the Torah. And that's what a Jew is. A Jew is synonymous with a carrier of the flag of God. Tell the whole world that they better shape up. 